Students, now we'll discuss center mass of continuous extended objects. Like for example, in the coordinate system shown in figure, we are given with a general body of mass m, which is having a randomized shape. There is no specified geometry, there is nothing else. It's just a generalized body of mass m placed in a coordinate system. And say, if we are required to locate the position vector of center of mass of this body, Say it is located somewhere here, this is the center of mass of this body, and we are required to locate the position vector of center of mass of this body, say it is RC. And say we are required to find the value of this RC. In this situation, we can simply state a continuous object is also composed of many small particles or many small elements, or a single body can be assumed to be made up of large number of particles which are linked together. So, we will use the similar method which we have used in case of discrete object system like as we already studied for discrete object system for a system of particle we already studied that the position vector of system of particle is given by summation of m i r i from i equals to 1 to n for n particle system divided by sum of all masses. This we already studied. But in this situation, we cannot directly use m i r i because uh, we cannot sum up the mass moment of individual particles. In this situation, rather than using individual particles, we consider an infinitesimal segment of mass dm in this body. And so this dm is located at a position vector r. Now in this situation, summation of mi ri, which is the mass moment of ith particle of mass mi and position vector ri, here a general ith particle can be replaced by an elemental mass particle dm, which is having a position vector r. And in case of continuous body, this summation will be replaced by the sign of integration. So, here position vector of center of mass can be written as it is integration of dmr vector divided by summation of mi can be written as integration of dm. So, in this situation obviously integration of dm is the sum of all dm 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 for the whole body that will be capital M which is the total mass of body. So, integration of dm can be written as 1 by m this uh, integration of dm can be written as m. So, this relation will become 1 by m integration of dmr vector. This is the relation by using which we can find out the position vector of center of mass of the given continuous extended object. Similarly, we can also generalize this for the coordinates of center of mass. If say center of mass is located at coordinate xc and yc, same can be generalized as coordinates of center of mass of body can be given as x c can be written as 1 by m integration of dmx and y c can be written as 1 by m integration of dmy. If it would have been a three dimensional object, we can also define its z coordinate or this relation can directly be used for three dimensional coordinate system or a three dimensional body also. Here x and y are the coordinates for the elemental mass dm. If it is located at coordinates x and y, then we are finding x coordinate and y coordinate of center of mass by using this relation. Let's discuss an example. Here it is saying, figure shows a rod AB of length L. Linear mass density of this rod is non-uniform and it varies with the distance x from and A of the rod as a function lambda is equals to Cx square kilogram per meter. Where C is a positive constant and we are required to find the distance of center of mass of this rod from the end A. If qualitatively we will analyze it, we can see that as we increase the distance from A, the rod is getting denser. That means, most of the rod 
most of the mass of the rod is lying on the right half of it because on right side its density is more. So certainly its center of mass will be located on the right half as the mass is not equal in the left and right half of the rod. So we are required to find the position of center of mass here in this situation. We can directly write the x coordinate of center of mass can be given as 1 by m integration of dmx because we need to calculate the distance of center of mass from point A. Say it is xc. In this situation, first we need to consider an element. Again, we can consider at a distance x from and A. We consider an element of width dx. We find out the mass of this element. This dm can be written as lambda dx because lambda is the linear mass density. That is mass per unit length. So for the length dx, the mass will be lambda dx kilogram. So we substitute it, it will give us 1 by m integration of dm is lambda dx into x. Limits of x can be substituted from 0 to l. So this will be 1 by m. If we substitute the value of lambda, it is cx square. This can be written as integration of cx cube dx from 0 to l. If you integrate this x cube, on integrating this will give us x 4 by 4 when you substitute the limits of x as l. This will be C L 4 upon 4 m. We just need to calculate the mass m and we'll get the final result that is position of center of mass from the end a. So to calculate mass we can directly integrate this elemental mass dm which is lambda dx and the value of lambda we can substitute from here. So it will be integration of cx square dx from 0 to l. You can see that this will give us the total mass of the rod of length l. On integrating x square, it will result x cube by 3. When you put the limit as l, the mass will be cl cube by 3. If you substitute this mass here, see what you'll be getting. This cl4 upon 4 times of Cl cube by 3. So this L cube gets cancelled out with the 4 powers of L. C will also get cancelled out. The result will be 3L by 4, which is the answer to this problem. That means the center of mass will be located on the right half at a distance 3L by 4 from the end A.